So, this is my version 2 of audio control. Now, there's not too many changes, but there are some small changes. The primary ones being level 4s that can special summon themselves. Now, the reason for that, if you watch my recent combo video, is simple. We want to be able to summon Supernova Dragon, basically. Because, well, it's a big monster. If you also open Synchron Resonite in our hand, which isn't impossible, we then are able to also enter the abyss, and that's a powerful board. So we've adjusted some ratios here and there, I'm honestly not entirely sure which variant is better. One other good change we made in this build is the inclusion of Foolish Burial Goods into Red Rain. Now Red Rain and Abyss is an insane combo. When you use Red Rain, uh, you banish all the monsters in the field except your highest level Synchro monster. And yeah, the monster you control becomes a Tauvs for that turn, it's unaffected by other card effects, except their own. So, this basically means if your opponent um, wants to use Dark Weaver no more, you chain this and your card is fine. Same goes for the Hoplitz. This can protect your Abyss, and Abyss is a quick effect negate, meaning that if they want to out this, it's going to be pretty tough, you know? Just Red Raid and Abyss alone is a pretty tough combo. Not a lot of decks can totally deal with that. Same is to a certain degree true for Supernova. Supernova. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. If they somehow try to negate its effects, you can just protect it with Red Rain. Then have to commit a lot of resources to create a board, and then have to activate the monster effect, boom, their entire board is gone. So yeah, we want to hit them big, we want to hit them hard. Now we run to triple wild wind one time one time pass code. If we open this and combo, we can go into supernova. Otherwise we just pass an abyss, which is fine. Triple schoolmeister, it's just very good still of um Chaos Ruler. It's a Leo of Darkness Ball and you can just normal summon this with Crimson Resonator for full combo. Which of the Black Force is able to search either World with for an extension if you somehow need one. Otherwise you can search Valor, which is a hand trap and that's pretty nice. Triple Condemned Witch, this just search for a bit of Droplet, which is really really nice. Droplet also, you know, go exactly really nice. If for some reason you cannot afford these because while you're playing budget or something, Chalice also works, Forbidden Chalice. It's similar enough. Triple Crimson Resonator is the main Resonator, the One Chain Resonator it's a bit better considering it's a light over just running only single Resonators. Now it cannot be alert, so it's a bit worse that aspect, but there's at least somewhat consistent Banishable of Chaos Ruler, making it a bit better in the ground game. Double Synchron, Triple Veiler is just very good for Activates of Chaos Ruler added to the end. Triple Alert to draw into the good cards. Triple Resonator called Search Crimson and other stuff, mostly Crimson. Triple Desire to just draw stuff, this is part of Creed, once we do go full combo we don't need what's in the deck. And it's one of the few ways we can actually dig into Crimson. Double Goods to get Rain in the grave, Rain is insane in this card, so I want to, in, in, in this deck I mean, so I just want access to this as much as possible. Double Scrap Iron Signal, Counter Trap that resets itself, you can use it once per turn. Uh, when you open it, it activates Monster Effect, so I control the Synchro, the list of Synchro's material. Which can be Supernova, it can be Abyss. Or it can be something like Bane 2. Not only do we negate it, with a counter trap, meaning it's very hard to respond to, but it also just sets itself again and it's great if you're kind of want to grind. So one King Calamity, one Supernova, one Metal Soul, double Bane, one Havana High, double Abyss, double Kill Schuler, one Dark End. One Pixie Dragon is kind of needed for the combo here, and Triple Red Rising, not too fancy here. Now I'll show you the combos. Well, okay, I said combos, but I mean test heads. Anyways. That's a nice call. Crimson. Condemned, this is one of the most basic plays, basically. Now, this is not a self summoning, so you cannot do the Abyss. Um, abyss uh, Supernova here. Shame. Let's we'll see if we get any value of Chaos Ruler. Or what is completely terrible, it's not a great either. Okay. Just get back the Abyss in the field. Allure. As you call, another Allure. If we do get something here, yeah, fail. So this one gate from Abyss, this is the situation of Red Rain I talked about before. Droplet, which can just discard something like... Right, one of these resonates doesn't really matter, or even multiple. In the fact, failure for extra interruptions, it's pretty decent both. Now, here we do open Wild Wind and Crimson. So it's gonna at least go into Supernova. Depending if we somehow get a Synchron Resonate in our hand, maybe we're able to extend. That the only one Synchron Resonator is in this deck, so it's very, very unlikely. Because we need to target in the deck. Maybe a third Synchron Resonator would be better here. Well, 
maybe should have added something last night, not an additional failure, but it's fine, we decided to just abandon the abyss. Gatrain in the grey, <laughs> double Gatrain face down. It's gonna be a tough board to crack and in the full on half of grind game. So yeah, this profile is quite quick, it's more of an expansion pack on the previous control build. Which variant is better? Hmm, not entirely sure. Maybe the last one was a bit better, but yeah, kind of testing the Tupanova. It's kind of disappointing in this specific variant, but however, I have another variant coming up in the future where I do fully utilize the Supernova. Hope you all enjoyed this profile. It's a bit... How should I say this? Not polished, but you know. Hope the video is still useful to you. If you all enjoyed it, have a beautiful day. Goodbye.